Hi artists and welcome back to today's video. As always, you can skip the intro and go straight to the tutorial in order to know how to find the references for your 3D character. As the title says, I'm going to talk about how to find the references, meaning everything from the website, what kind of references, how many, all the questions answered basically. So before getting into the tutorial, if you haven't already, please subscribe because there are more videos to come and I'm sure they're going to be very interesting for any new beginner. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. So the first step into this tutorial is to install the amazing reference software that is PureRef. So to do that, let's go into our browser and type PureRef. Usually it should be the first link into the result. Once on the website, you can click on get PureRef. Then you can choose on which platform you want to install it depending on your computer. Finally, you can choose whether or not you want to donate to the team behind the software. You can totally have it for free though, if you don't have the means to donate. And finally, you can download PureRef. Once that is done, you're going to be able to use PureRef to gather references for your character while keeping them on top of any software you're working on. I suggest you try it out to understand the different function it has and get comfortable with PureRef. Okay, now into the actual research. One of the main website that I use is Pinterest when looking for references, since its algorithm is able to suggest similar pictures to what I'm actually looking to find. On Pinterest, I usually look for outfit references more than anything else. Uh, don't stop to one picture reference for each item. Try and look for every angle possible for that same asset for you to have the best idea possible on what it looks like. It's also going to be very useful when you're going to be doing the textures. So you're going to have as much reference as possible as to what the material is like. Getty Images is the go-to website when it comes to looking for likeness references. It has all kinds of pictures from the paparazzis to events, photo shoots of any celebrity in all the angles possible. From there, you want to make sure you focus on one expression of the face. So for instance, if you want your character in a neutral face, don't save pictures where the actor is smiling <clears throat> since you won't have the right information. The other thing you will notice is when I copy paste my picture that I'm assembling in my PureRef, I'm not randomly spreading them on my PureRef. I'm actually trying to have every angle of the face in an order as if my subject was turning their head from one side to the other. Then I crop my images using C to only have the face in my pictures, which is the main focus. I will use YouTube when I need references from a movie scene, since there is usually a lot more contrast in movie lighting than in a paparazzi photo, which is much better to read the shapes of the face. So I will stop the video to take a screenshot where I feel I can see the face's shape. Last one is Google Images. I use Google as a last resort to expand my horizons, but it's not my favorite search engine since it's not giving me much in terms of variety. But it's super useful for more specific things, like in this case, I was looking for Katniss's official backpack, which I couldn't find through Pinterest since it doesn't have much images on the subject. All right, so now let me show you my PureRef with all of my references gathered so you have an idea of what yours should look like. First off, as you can see, everything has been categorized into groups. All pictures of outfits are together, backpack, face, etc. Like I mentioned before, I place the face with the logic, her turning her head so it's easy for me to find the correct angle in all pictures. I have also some black and white pictures, again to better see the shapes with contrast, some pictures of her entire body to be able to have the right proportions in ZBrush, and just above that, some pictures of her life cast, which is most useful when trying to make a sculpt of someone since you don't have the subsurface or specularity influencing how you see the shapes. We also have some movie shots where there is again a lot of contrast and a lot of close-up shots again from movies uh, to really have the best idea of what her face should look like in 3D if I was to imagine it basically in my head. One last example I would like to give to you guys is if your concept is not actually from a movie character but rather from a fictional concept art. So in this case we still have variety but the way I'm searching for the pictures is rather to have 
a different type of complexity, for instance, get inspiration, and then in the end decide for myself what kind of clothing I want to put on my character. I will still find some other inspirations from other concepts, as well as find, you know, body types that I want to achieve. And again, for clothing, try to get inspiration in what the folds should look like for my character, what type of jewelry I want, and again, the same thing with the pocket in this case. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I was kind of inactive for a long time, about 11 months, but your comment just really made me want to come back. I just had some very bad back problem which made it very difficult for me to be like sitting for a long time and working and editing and all that so anyhow also made it into the level 80 uh tutorial list of best hair creation tutorials so this is just like wow amazing thank you guys so much as always you can follow me onto my social media i have instagram tiktok now where i'm posting apparently art station and i also have a patreon which is active now where you can find all sorts of unedited content there are also mentorships if that's something that you're looking into all the info is there and you can contact me through any social media really again guys i really appreciate your support and i really hope to see you into the next video we'll see you bye